Yeah, right here is my uh, rain barrel that I built. <laughs> you can see the gutter here going up. There's my gutters, kind of bright here in Florida. And this one here, I drilled the two holes at the end so that water along this pipe drains into this one. So I get a lot of water that comes down right into the barrel. And over here I just have a little uh, some PVC pipe coming out to a hose for the excess water. It just drains, drains around, comes around here. I got that going out into the driveway, out into the street. Over here I got some fruit trees. Nice fruit trees. And here's my wind generator. There's no, no wind right now. But this is the PMA, PMA uh, alternator motor. And then it starts cranking up when it gets kind of windy, about 10 miles an hour. That thing <laughs> cranks up pretty good. And over here I got some uh, solar lights. Got them out in the front, out in the backyard. <laughs> and over here is going to be my garden. So far I have a tree. Let's start. I have a tree in my garden. It's all going to be garden area. And over here is my seeds. They're germinating with the sun's heat. They're germinating in there. Plenty of moisture going on. Over here is my other rain barrels. Go all the way up and come down into the rain barrel, the water. And this water is uh, I'm going to be using for the garden here. As you can see, I used a 32 gallon buck, uh, gallon uh, garbage can here. Down here, I put my little spigot from Walmart. Barrels are from Walmart. Everything I got here is from Walmart, except the PVC. My connecting PVC and my other spigot here. And hopefully you enjoyed my video. I'm going to come in, be doing another part about Harbor Freight, my solar panels. Oh, did I, sh I didn't show them my solar panels, right? I, I got to show you the solar panels here. Uh, can't forget that. Those are my panels up there on the roof. My Harbor Freight panels. I'm right down here. This wire is coming from my uh, wind generator. That plugs into the battery. You see the battery right in there. And this here, it's just an outside electric box. I take this wire, stick it through here, and uh, plug it in off the battery. That, that takes care of that. That gives me power for outside use. Uh, I'll take a quick run in here. Okay, I got some uh, cockatiels going on here. <laughs> take a quick run in that and show you my batteries. <laughs> you see this cord? That runs in and uh, that runs my lights and the TV. Over here is a little bit of a mess because I've been doing almost a lot of work here. Oh, my battery is almost full. It is full. That's the voltage regulator that came with Harbor Freight. I plan on changing it in the future. This here is my 400 watt inverter. Let's turn it on. The power light comes on. Turn it off when you're not using it. This here is an extra one that I had for uh, oh, to charge my video camera. I use this. This plugs in a, a cigarette lighter here. It's got a cigarette cord that plugs in. And I use that. Now, over here by my batteries. 
wind generator. Oh, you can see I have it hooked up right here. To the, that's a DC converter, I think. And that's how I figured it out. And this other wire here, this is my diode. That's how you put your diode in. Okay. And let's see, these wires here, this goes to the to the inverter. This is coming out the voltage regulator and voltage regulator and the inverter. This is the Everstart Marine battery. It's a deep cycle. Uh, 115 volts, I think. 115 uh, amp hours or whatever. I'm not even sure. I have a little light here that I, that I plug in. This is a 5 watt light bulb. You get it at Walmart. You get three of them for nine dollars. And uh, let me plug this in to show you how that how that is. I'm gonna do a better video, but you can see it's throwing off some light. You know, you can see it's throwing off. And it's daylight right now, but it helps me out here. That's what I gotta do. And that's my uh, solar panel rain barrel. And wind generator set up here. I'm going to be changing it and pretty soon. I have a spare converter here for the wind generator. That's my spare. I'm doing a second one. Now, while I'm taking this video, I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'm going to show you this. I know it's kind of hard to see here. I got a lot of stuff in my garage. But that's it. Now these little pieces will be coming off. I was just doing this as a test here. I got a mount on a, on a, on a pretty thick piece of steel underneath. There's the alternator. I still have to convert it into a PMA. I'm just in the process of building this. I need more uh, 4 inch tubing to finish this project, get it painted and seal the wood and all that. Um, okay, my name is Joe. Thanks for watching this video. And good luck on your, all your projects.